chicken teriyaki y'all look at that with a side of beautiful broccoli it's on top of some cauliflower rice yummy freaking delicious i'm drinking a orange vanilla flavored water and y'all it is about to go down look at that i cannot wait to eat y'all <laughs> let's do this What's up, Yummy Bites? Welcome back to another episode of Yummy Bites TV. Y'all see it? Y'all, we are drinking orange vanilla flavored water today. Uh-huh. Yes, y'all. Mmm. Yummy freaking delicious. Let's pray. Hey, man, y'all, it's piping hot. Just like I like it. Who's ready for this mother flipping mukbang? Teriyaki chicken, baby. Homemade. Absolutely delicious. Mmm. 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 Oh my God. Yep, that's it. Mm mm mm. You know, sometimes when you cook, you hope that it tastes like what you're trying to make. And this, like, hits the nail right on the head. Mmm. Y'all hear my stomach? Mmm. Mmm. Beautiful broccoli. This is a healthy meal, y'all. I literally have meat and vegetables on my plate. Mm. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Perfect amount of spice and sweetness. Mmm. Hardly any carbs. So juicy. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, yeah, I need something a little bit healthier in my body. Okay, like. <laughs> I know y'all be like, dang, when she gonna eat something healthy? Lord have mercy. Jeez Louise. I hear y'all. Even though y'all not saying it, I hear y'all. <laughs> And I do wish my sauce was a little darker, but as long as the flavor is there, it doesn't matter. Mmm. Mmm. Like, I didn't use uh, 
teriyaki sauce when it's already made. No. This is homemade. A homemade teriyaki I put together. Mmm. Delicious. Mmm. <laughs> it's so good. How's everybody doing? What are y'all eating? Are y'all eating something healthy? Let me know in the comments. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be eating this whole plate. Y'all, this flavor is perfect. Mmm. Y'all yeah, use my green onions that I grow to put on top of here. Mm-hmm. Delicious. <laughs> mm. Y'all. Yeah. Y'all remember the last video? Y'all had me crying and stuff, right? Why, when I was editing the video, I was still freaking crying. Like, when I started crying in the video, I started crying while I was editing. It didn't stop until I started laughing when somebody made me laugh in the video. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. Like, <laughs> okay, so my ladies who are already in my menopause, like, do you cry about everything? Y'all, I, fo I found that I cry more now than I ever had in my entire life, y'all. Like, <laughs> I used to be the one that doesn't cry, but y'all, it's like, wow. It's like, I just can't even help it now. I can't even hold it in. But anyway, <laughs> I have a feeling that it has something to do with menopause. Or perimenopause. Yeah, y'all. Um, I still ain't came on it. It is not here. And then it's weird because today my stomach started cramping a little bit. But it went away so fast, you know? I was like, wow. Are we going to say goodbye forever? Yeah, I feel like it's like another... Like, I'm stepping into another uh, realm or something. Like, like I'm stepping into, like, a different life or something. You know? Like, did y'all feel that way? Like, oh, my God. I can't even imagine not having a monthly anymore. Like, I can't imagine that. Mmm. You know what, ladies, um, a long time ago, when I was mukbanging, there was this one particular girl that would watch every single one of my videos. I would always shout her out when I'd be re reading comments and stuff, right? And one video, we were, I was talking about my monthly, I was saying, I said something about it. I think I just said that I was on it and I was cramping real bad or whatever. Like, it wasn't, like, an in-depth conversation about it or anything, right? She got so mad. And I think that was the day that she stopped freaking watching. I don't even know. Like, it just became, um, she was, like, in and out of videos. You know what I'm saying? Like, she wouldn't watch every video. She got so mad because I was, I had mentioned my monthly. Can anybody tell me, like, what is up with that? Like, 
what's up with that? Do any of you not like talking about it or what? Like, I don't, I didn't get it. She was like, how dare you talk about uh, your, I don't even know what she called it. She didn't call it monthly though. I can't remember what she called it, but she was so offended that I had mentioned it. I'm like, what is up with that? I think that's very, very strange. Um, is anybody else like that? Like what? I mean, I know I didn't do anything wrong, but what, what is wrong with that? What, what do you, I don't know. <laughs> what is wrong with women talking about that? I know it used to be like embarrassing to talk about like back in the day, but we are grown women. And we have to talk about that sometimes. Like, we got to talk about our feelings and how that makes us feel. You know? Mm. Y'all, I am 40. How old am I? 48? I'm 49, girl. I'm 49. Okay, so I'm thinking that I'm not going to have it anymore. I'm, I'm hoping and praying. Oh, Jesus, let, 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 this, let this be it. Oh, Lord, let it be it. <laughs> let me know also, if you don't have yours anymore, like, how do you feel? Like, um, because I know, well, how do you feel? Okay. Do you feel amazing? Like, are you, is, is it nice? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Is it nice, girl? Like, oh my gosh. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Something is telling me that this is the end. Before I came on here, I was listening to some old Bobby Brown, y'all. I was like, Mary Show, do you remember when Bobby Brown was Bobby Brown? He was really Bobby Brown in back then, y'all. Like, Bobby Brown was a star, -a, a literal star. He has so many hits up under his belt, and I just, I don't know why I forgot that. And it's just so unfortunate, like, you know, how he is now. It's like he doesn't have that Bobby Brown spark to him anymore. Because um, when I see him perform now, it's like, what is going on, Bobby? I, I feel like his group needs to get together and, and get Bobby together. You know what I'm saying? So he can lose some weight, so he can... You know, he looks good still, but he, so he can be in shape like everybody else. You know what I mean? Like, why they won't help him? Or I don't know if they are or not, but, you know, help him eat right and work out and do all that type of stuff. You know, I think that he could get back to himself. You know what I'm saying? I just, I don't know for some reason, I just don't feel like he's his self right now. Um, it may just be because he's gotten older, um... And then Marshall was saying that, you know, drugs have a lot to do with it also, but I don't think he's on drugs anymore. It just doesn't seem like he is. Let's do it. Do it. Oh. Um, okay. Um. Now, what is going on with? What is it? Oh yeah. This guy. What's his name? Ivan G. Uh, TV on TikTok was saying that 
Something about uh, across Texas, um, they're shutting down schools and stuff. And because, hold up. They said multiple school districts across Texas have been closing or getting ready to close because of some mysterious illness, some viral illness that everybody's been catching. I'm like, well, like I, this is my first time hearing about, you know, well, I did know about, you know, a new type of virus going around, but I didn't know they was closing schools due to it. Like what? Like what is really going on, y'all? Girl, I'm glad I'm in the house. <laughs> I'm glad. Because I don't want none of that. I do not want that. I can't even remember the last time I was sick. I really cannot, y'all. We just, we don't be getting sick. And I don't want to go out there and um and test my, um, my immune system. I don't want to. <laughs> like, it's not fun being sick at all. Mm -mm. It's like it be concentrated at the schools. I mean, concentrated. Those kids be carrying that dag on sickness, bringing it home. Like, oh my god. Mmm. Mmm. This is so good. But yeah. Down the road. They say as more cases of respiratory illness are being reported across the country, several school districts in Texas have taken action to try and mitigate the spread of the flu or all these other viruses. The Texas Department of State Health Services recently launched a dashboard which shows trends as well as where and when students and people are getting these viruses. School districts across the state are seeing the reality of this trend firsthand, with an unusually high number of students, teachers, faculty, and staff members staying home because they're too sick to come to school. Whoa, so that's why they probably closed down because they're saying that so many people are getting sick, students and teachers. And can't nobody come to work or school. So they got to shut down. What? Wow. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. There's so much going on right now. It is in freaking sane. Insane. Mm. Y'all. The last video was almost two hours. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I was like, wow. I need to do a daggone podcast. Like. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Anyway, everybody stay safe out there. Take your vitamin C. Your emergency, all that good stuff. And take your, your natural uh, teas and all of that type of stuff. Because, honey, you got to protect yourself. So, the uh, did anybody watch the whole interview with Monique uh, on Club Shay Shay? Let me know. Did you watch the whole three-hour interview? Y'all, I still haven't had time to do it, but I've been seeing these daggone clips and what Monique is talking about. A lot of this stuff I've already heard her talk about. Um, maybe she was just trying to remind everybody of what, you know, has been going on in her life. Because she doesn't give that many interviews. Not that I know of. But um, she was talking about Tyler Perry and how he ru allegedly ruined her career for 12 years. Because he put out there that she was difficult to work with. And so... She said she had him on tape saying it, right? I remember uh, hearing it a long time ago. And um, so Monique was like, she asked, <laughs> she obviously let um, 
what is his name? Shay Shay. Anyway, she let him hear uh, Tyler Perry, um, the recording, right? And him saying that, because she recorded him saying that basically he made a mistake. He's sorry. Um, he was wrong for it. You know, he he's just basically saying that he shouldn't have never done that and all this stuff. It wasn't true. All this stuff, right? Excuse me. And so Monique, they were talking about it. Monique had asked him. She was like, um, wait a minute. Let me see if I can get it. Is this it? Hold now, on. I'm going to go ahead and keep it a stack with your player. This is something that I have seen Kristen could be without him. Thus, oh. costing her granted, she had tens of millions. Would you be Did I not, um, did I not record this part? I didn't. Anyway, so he, she asked him, she was like, um, uh, I let you hear, right? I let you hear him, you know, say that, you know, uh, that he shouldn't have done that or whatever. And, um, you heard it right. And he was like, yeah, I heard it. And he was like, um, she was like, and he said such and such and such or whatever. Anyway, Shay, Shay Shay, whatever his name is, y'all said that, um, what did he say? He said, um, basically, Monique tried to make him say what Tyler had said, and he didn't want to, y'all. Like, he didn't want to have nothing to do with that. Monique asked him twice, and he was like, uh, something about uh, her recording him. Uh, it was something about uh, against the law. Her recording him was like against the law. He tried to deflect and say that, you know, instead of repeating what Tyler said, because he didn't want to. I, I don't think he wanted to insert himself in their beef, you know, as a host of, of that show. He didn't want to have nothing to do with that, you know. And Monique was trying to make him, you know what I'm saying, kind of get involved a little bit. Y'all know, if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. Um, Yeah, but he was not having it, honey. <laughs> he was not <laughs> He did not want to get sued by nobody at all. Anyway, so people are saying that Tyler um, owes Monique monetarily. Like, you know what I'm saying? He put that out there. He made it to where she couldn't get no jobs because nobody wanted to work with her, allegedly. Nobody wanted to work with her. So she lost out on millions of dollars over all of them years, y'all. Over all of them years, she lost out. Um, and so, um, yeah, uh, what do y'all think? Do y'all think that Tyler Perry owes her some cash? I think that he does. I think he does. She already got him on tape. You know what I'm saying? Like, she has him on tape backtracking what he said and saying that he shouldn't have never did that. And then admitting that he said it. Okay? So, she could use that in court she really could if she wanted to sue him and get money for lost wages and all that because he what um what do you call that defamation of character mm. that's exactly what that was so i don't know if she's going to take him to court or not she may just try to talk to him or whatever i don't know um but yeah anyway um and then, what else? Oh, my God. So, apparently, Monique spoke on um, D.L. Hughley, and he went off on Monique. Did y'all see that? <laughs> oh, my God. He was so mean. He was calling her an effing liar. He was not freaking playing, y'all. Like, he does not care for Monique at all. Because um, Monique said something about when she had went on his radio show they were um they played this this um game or something on there called not truth or dare but um what was it hold up dang girl play the here you go but what she did in response to that she talked Listen. about my dog my wife this bra even brought out my daughter's personal trauma so as we know, honey, Monique shook a tail feather on down there to Club Shay Shay to let it all hang out. And that she did. Now, unlike the previous comedian, Cat Williams, who was on Club Shay Shay, 
she did not spare D.L. Hughley, honey. She voiced her disgust and her disdain with him. Now, I covered the whole debacle between D.L. Hughley and... Girl, D. play it. Last year quite extensively. So, I remember exactly what happened. So, it all started off, honey, with Monique years ago going on to D.L. Hughley's radio show. Now, he was not there, but his co-hosts were. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the show, they play a game. Now, Monique deemed Ooh, this game... game very unnecessary and disrespectful because they asked her, Would you rather your husband sleep Would around with Corinne Stephens or Lee Daniel? Now she decreed and declared that Would you rather your husband sleep around sleep with Corinne Stephens or um or without protection with Lee Daniels? Something like that to that effect, y'all. She didn't like that question. Um, I guess she just wasn't with the game. You know what I'm saying? She didn't want to play the game. And so she she called him while she was at his radio show. He, he's, he wasn't there. The co-host was there. She called DL. And she said that um, she voiced her concern. And he was, like, very dismissive with her. And she didn't appreciate that. She, she said that when he answered the phone, it was in this manner... It wasn't in the same manner as if she would have called him before. Like, he, I guess, had some type of an attitude when he just answered the phone. Um, and anyway, she said that his attitude was very dismissive and, you know, basically he didn't care. He was like, um, that's what we do. Um, now, that's what she said he said. But he said that he said, um, hold up. He said that he said, where is it? Is she going to play the dag on clips? Here it go. Here it go. Listen. Baby, I'm going to keep it a stack. I was clutching my invisible damn pearls. Or working out. I don't know nobody that work out that much in game weight unless every crunch you do has got capped in the front of it. But apparently she goes on Club Shay Shay and tells the story about how she came on my radio show and I wasn't there at the time. And uh, uh, my co-host, Jasmine Sanders, played a game that we played all the time with everybody called Would You Rather. She apparently was so offended by that that she said she got off. She called me. Monique did, and she said I was very dismissive. Like, huh? Monique's a liar. When Monique did call me, I heard her, her complaints. I listened to her, and I pulled the segment. So if I had it. He's not telling us what he said, though. He didn't just listen to her. And pull the segment right then and there. He had to have said something to her. I don't think Monique is lying. He's lying. He's leaving out what he said to her. Like you did say that. And you probably had an attitude too. Because you was probably irritated. Because Monique had a problem. You know what I'm saying? I like the fact that Monique. I like the fact that Monique expresses herself. You know what I'm saying? Not too many people are like that. A lot of people let people do them any old kind of way. You know what I'm saying? And they just not used to the kind of woman that Monique is. I feel like she's a strong woman and people are not used to that. People are not used to black women speaking up for themselves. And that's just what she does. Um, and anyway. Being as dismissive as she alleges I was, that segment would have aired. It didn't because I respected her wishes. She, then she encouraged everybody, uh, allegedly it stems from the fact that I used to always talk shit about her on video after video, and she encouraged her sweet babies to look at the video and find them. Do that. She talked about my dog, my wife. This broad even brought out my daughter's personal trauma. Oh, she won't see Monique doing? You won't ever see her, her with her family, videos with her children or grandchildren, because nobody fucks with me. How do you have sweet babies when your own babies don't fuck with you? How do, how do you love us for real when there's no evidence of anybody loving you for real? Except her husband love her. Who you apparently have to pay. And FYI, daughters are paid for by daddies. Not daddies who get paid by their daughters. You will you know what else you won't see Monique doing? Telling jokes. Monique, uh, if she just spends as much time actually writing jokes and writing her Netflix special as she did complaining about not having one, it wouldn't have been trash. It got the worst reviews of any Netflix Did special in history. All right, point. Did y'all see the Netflix show? Murder show. Huh? Did you see Monique's stand-up? 
on Netflix? I thought she only had one. The one that she had. I'm not sure. I don't. I know, huh? I don't think we. Yeah, I don't think we. You know what? I think we tried. I think we tried to watch it, but it wasn't funny. Because if it's on Netflix, we have access. Was she full of attitude? Or something about it, in terms of it, I, it wasn't funny. That's what. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't funny. I remember now. It wasn't funny. And he said that it was the lowest rated comedy special. <laughs> That's messed up. That's messed up. Like, how embarrassing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's already. You already have to have a lot of courage to be a comedian. And to get somebody to give you. Uh, a Netflix special where you're making millions because you know the people who do the Netflix specials make millions because I remember that she said that they at first offered her only a half a million dollars to do that special and everybody else got like what 20 million and stuff and I think she sued Netflix and um, they ended up settling out of court I don't know how much she got but I guess she got her just to do like what she was worth um, but then DL just, you know, said that it was one of the worst, one of the worst, um, Netflix, um, specials y'all like, did y'all see the whole thing and how did y'all like it? Let me know in the comments. Um, but there was somebody, um, on TikTok saying that they wish, uh, Monique would stop complaining about the same thing over and over again. She needs to move on and all this stuff here. And what I say to that is, is that let Monique do what she needs to do so she can feel better. You know what I'm saying? From what I know, stuff's still happening to her. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's still happening. All the complaints that she's complaining about, it's still happening to her. And so I, I feel like she has the right to talk about it if she wants to. Like, it's her situation. Nobody else went through that. You know, we don't we don't know how that feels. We don't know how it feels to be blackballed uh, for 15 years of your career. That is a very long time, you know. And then, like, people just doing stuff behind the scenes um, against her and stuff. Like, talk about it, girl. Talk about it because we're going to be listening, girl. Okay. <laughs> we're going to be listening. I say leave her alone. Leave Monique alone. Let her do her thug thizzle. Mm. I'm full. Mm. Okay. Listen to this. What do y'all think? Let me know what y'all think about this. So... It was this um this young lady. She had made this post about um telling this guy, I guess that she was dating, that um she was about oh he asked her was what was she gonna be eating for that day for lunch or whatever, right? Or for dinner, I don't know. And she said a salad. So he cash apps her $15. To pay for her lunch. Oh, it was, uh, it was her lunch. To pay for her lunch. And she got offended. And sent it back. Y'all. Sent back the $15. Like. Y'all. Really? You know what I'm saying? Like. She was offended because he only sent $15. How much is a daggone me salad? You know, how much is a salad? <laughs> Maybe he thought that she was going to uh, Whataburger or something. I don't know. Like, how much money are you supposed to send for a salad? I guess $20. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I don't just be going somewhere to get a salad, honestly. So. I thought that was wrong of her to get mad at him and send it back. 
Like, I feel like that was thoughtful of him to even cash up her the $15. She should have been like, thank you. And if her salad costs more than that, well, then she should have paid the difference. You know what I'm saying? Told him thank you for the nice gesture because that is a nice gesture. What do y'all think? Like, I think it's a nice gesture. You know, sometimes we don't know how to... I'm, some people don't, they don't know how to be appreciative of the little things. You know what I'm saying? It's not always going to be that they send you $100 for lunch. It's lunch. And then you said what you wanted to eat. So he was trying to pay for your lunch because you said you wanted a salad. You know, sometimes we're just a little difficult sometimes. Just a little bit sometimes. Um... You know, we just need to be a little bit more grateful for the, the little things. But, you know, initially she was going to be paying for her own lunch. You know what I'm saying? Before he, uh, you know, surprised her and sent her that $15. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I, I feel like she was kind of wrong for that. She was kind of wrong. And if I were him, I wouldn't have never talked to her again. And, and, you know, she sent it back and then she put it online. Girl, please. Girl, bye. Okay. Girl, bye. She was wrong. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> um, what else, y'all? What else is going on? Unk, y'all. Unk and not. Okay, so <sighs> people are so upset about this. I'm upset too. Uh, GoFundMe is holding the funds, y'all. Like they they said they're holding the funds. Um, I think because of the allegations or whatever. I want to know what their policies are because first of all, Unk did his time. He did his time. He got punished for what he did, and he did his time. Um, you know, um, and if he did something wrong, well then it, it's just wrong. It's it's wrong, but. Is he supposed to still, if he's, is he supposed to be homeless still? Like, he can't be helped because he did something wrong? I just, I don't know. Why is GoFundMe holding that money? Why, why? I, I don't know. I feel like they should release those funds. And if, you know, uh, people no longer wanted to go to Uncle, then give it to Nah. Give it to her. People already wanted to get her a car, pay for her um, tuition and all that type of stuff. Like, just, you know, give it to her then. But I don't see any reason why um, Unk can't be helped still. Like, like I said, he did his time. He's out. And... You know, he, he did what he was supposed to do. He 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 got his punishment and he served time for it. And what what is that? Does it mean that he's uh he's not worthy of being helped when he needs help? He's still in need, you know, and with that money he could get counseling and anything else that he needs. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I just think that that's wrong. They're holding it because of the allegations on him. You know, and I would, I don't know, I would just love to know their policy on that. Like, you know, like, what's the policy? Are y'all holding it? Um, Is that lawful for them to hold all that money that people donated for a specific person? I don't know. But people are calling for them to unleash <laughs> that money, okay? And, and let that girl help this man because... From what I know, she's been using her own money for everything that she's been buying right now. She's been using her own money. I know that they have a GoFundMe set up for her right now. I don't know how much money is in it because I'm not real sure who started that GoFundMe. But, um, yeah, y'all. What do y'all think? What do y'all, do y'all think? You know, y'all probably gave y'all opinion on, um. In the comments. So let's go to the comments. <clears throat> and see what y'all talking about. Um, 
But yeah, I think that is um, that's it as far as the um, let me see. Oh, y'all, I forgot to talk about the Drake. The Drake video. No, I didn't see it. Okay, because <laughs> I couldn't get into my Twitter or whatever they call it now. I forgot the daggone password, y'all. Because I tried to press something to where um, it'll automatically come up, whatever. Anyway, since I did the update on my phone, my password wasn't in there anymore. Oh, that made me so mad. Anyway. Um, but yeah, y'all, did y'all hear about that? Like what? I wonder who leaked that. Like what in the actual world? Um, let me know in the comments. Did y'all see it? Because I know there's a lot of thirsty people that was so freaking happy about it. Like what? Get out of here. Anyway. Um, but let me just tell y'all this real quick. Anyway, I saw this, uh, clip at the, at one of Drake's concerts. Um, it was this young lady who had just finished with um, chemo, right? And she had a sign and she was holding it up in the audience saying, I just uh, just uh, completed chemo, right? And she was holding it up. People was um, shining their um, flashlights on the sign to get uh, Drake's attention. They finally got his attention and y'all, guess what he did? He said that he, him and his team was gonna give her a hundred thousand dollars okay and he just wished her well i was like oh my gosh like i know she was happy like first of all she's happy because she's done with chemo excuse me which is absolutely amazing like congratulations to her and i hope that her health is 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 great from now on you know what i'm saying um i'm pretty sure it, she's probably in remission or something i hope so um but yeah drake gave her a hundred K y'all like that is, that is amazing. That is amazing. Anyway, I just wanted to tell y'all that. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and get to these comments real quick, real quick. Like girl. Okay. Well, all right. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. How much part? Oh, be quiet. Okay, here we go. Oh, a new commenter. Okay, Make Bam says uh he cheated on the ex with uh the now wife. Yes, yes. Did I not say that? I'm sorry. Um, since she helped him cheat on me i'm gonna help him cheat on you with that money wait a minute let me read that again he cheated on the ex with the now wife since she helped him cheat on me i'm gonna help him um cheat on you with that money <laughs> okay y'all had to read that again because i didn't understand what she was saying girl okay <laughs> Um, AP Trucker 8518 says, way to bounce back. Laughter through tears is a great emotion, but I feel you, sis. Yes, I'm so glad that that comment came next, girl. Because I was <laughs> like, woo, boy. Yes, okay. Like, <laughs> I was falling completely apart. Okay, so Tawana Jackson, um, 2814 says, we cannot compare that nurse to this doctor because first of all, uh, y'all tried to cover it. That's why I was saying, that's why I was saying, try to cover it up. Then you purposely try to prop the baby head. Girl, I swear all the people who did that, they need to go to jail, straight up. Purposely try to prop the baby head up on the baby's body. Oh my God, ain't no effing way. I hope that lady really goes to jail because that's crazy. It is. It's, it's very much crazy. Um, you know, she probably wouldn't have gotten into so much trouble if they wouldn't have tried to hide it. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? 
where is the humanity in you? Like, what kind of doctor are you? That, yeah, it, it, that was crazy. Um, Rita Lane 1474 says, I'm sorry, I would not, I would have not given the wife nothing. I would have gave the baby a couple dollars and went on with life. Yeah, that's what I said because, honey, wife, wifey, you ain't getting nothing, sweetheart. Like, <laughs> yeah, I forgot that little tidbit. He cheated on her with that woman and she wants the money? Girl, you better kick rocks. Girl, you ain't getting nothing, girl. And this is a true story. Can y'all believe that? I literally can't believe it. I honestly cannot. He went in. He cheated and then married her. He married her. Oh, my God. I know that hurt that girl real bad. Um, Tawana Jackson says, I would still go after the ex-girlfriend. Like, what? I Like, what? I have his kid. I've been his wife. You gonna run me something. <laughs> I need all the child support, ma'am. Girl, please, we, we will be fighting because guess what? You ain't getting a red dime. And child support? <laughs> I'm gonna put a trust, like, get a trust together so you can't touch it. She can't touch it. Okay, she was the mistress. And she better be glad that she became a wife. Okay, I, you, girl, I don't owe you Nathan. Your own girl. I wouldn't be screaming to the mountaintop, to the mountaintops, y'all. Your husband left it to me. And I wasn't even his wife. Your husband left me y'all's. <laughs> money <laughs> your husband left it to me girl uh, girl please ain't no freaking way she wouldn't get a red dime not a red one okay <laughs> not a red dime b bogany oc 2 bj says good night beautiful queen that homemade those homemade nachos look so delicious and amazing thank you sis you look beautiful in that outfit thank you and i love your beautiful videos looking beautiful as always queen thanks sis love you love you too and thank you for commenting like always girl um tawana jackson to it i'm just gonna call you tawana jackson girl also says i would still do what i said i was gonna do for unk like you said people can change and maybe the money can uh, go towards a recovery home. That's what I'm saying. To get him some help. All that. Like a recovery home, a therapist, a doctor. He doesn't have to physically get the money exactly. Somebody can like be over that money for him. Um, but she should still help him in any way she can. I feel the same way. I feel the same way. And so does everybody else, y'all. Like, every, almost everybody that's been making videos, you know. But they say it's some girl making a video talking about that's why you shouldn't help black men. Like, what, girl? How you gonna get on the internet and even say that? How you gonna say that about the whole of, of black men? Just black men, period. Girl, bye. Oh, my gosh. So annoying. Um... Tawana also says, um, I hate to say this, but how do we not know that lady when it comes to Unk not looking for a come up? Uh, like, how do we 100% know that was even... That's what I was saying because they saw it on camera, but you can't even see who did it. You know it was a man, but we don't know if that was him or not. Like... We, we don't, maybe that's why he never got in trouble for it because they didn't even know if that was him. Now, she's saying that it was him. The news lady was like, is this him? And she was like, yep, that's him. And y'all, when I tell y'all, people are, are saying that they feel like this was some type of setup for some disgruntled person that, you know, had something against him or whatever. Um... And they was trying, people are saying that they thought that, you know, somebody was trying to set him up so he wouldn't receive anything. You know, um, I don't know. 
Like, how do we know 100% that that was even him? Like, I don't know. I don't want to go too deep into it. Okay? I know I'm not going to go too deep into it. I just feel like he should still receive what people was trying to give him. As long as the people who donated everything, as long as those people don't mind, and it doesn't seem like the people who donated mind. Like, people been making videos. Oh, my God. So many. It's like... I've seen so many, and they're like, give him that money, help him still, you know? So, Dara R3431 says, hey, Yummy, hey, girl, OMG, you had me laughing, fussing, and now I'm bawling like a baby. <laughs> girl, I was going through all the emotions too, girl. Um, <laughs> you are a wonderful mom, despite what anyone may say. Thank you, girl. Hugs, we love you. Thank you, sis. Hugs. Oh my god, y'all are so sweet. Uh, I love you too, sis. Um, let me see. Erica Adams, UD two QG says, "Yummy, stop that, girl. You got me crying." <laughs> I get it. My cousin go through the same thing, but y'all are so strong and keep up the amazing job, love. Thank you so much, sis. Thank you. Um, okay, Tawana Jackson also says, I remember I wanted a baby fat jacket, but my dad told me no because it was like $80 <laughs> for it. And he had six kids to get clothes for. So I always had to get my coats. From Burlington, girl, everybody had to get their coats from Burlington, girl. I already know. Um, my best friend had one, though, and she was two grades higher than me. So, we didn't go to the same school. So, my, my girl, my bestie, let me borrow hers for a few days. Girl, do you remember when we used to borrow each other's clothes? Oh, my God. And that was like, like, we used to do that, but you would get talked about if somebody knew that you was borrowing and wearing somebody else's stuff, y'all, do y'all remember that back in the day? Oh my God. <sighs> what is, oh. Yes, girl, like, everybody used to borrow each other's stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, Kathy Yarbrough 9443 says, bless you, yummy, we love you. Oh, thank you so much, I love y'all too. That was so sweet. Tawana Jackson, she says, I think it should be a love mugbang with topics and comments as well. That way we can talk about you, um, about them in real time. I think it should be a love mugbang. I don't get it. I don't get it. What you mean? A love Ooh, excuse me. I think it should be a love mukbang with topics and comments as well. Oh, the uh, live. Okay, okay. Um. Okay. Yes, yes. We can definitely do that. So you think it should be a mukbang live? Okay, got you. Got you. I'm going to have to put it up on, um, put like a poll up on um, the community tab and see what everybody says. But I think most people are probably going to say it probably needs to be um, like a live mukbang. Yeah, that would be cool. That would be cool. Um, Kathy Yarbrough 9443 says, I take my dog everywhere. Really? <laughs> Wait a minute. Murder show. I didn't tell y'all that when y'all was gone, Bailey... I couldn't find her anywhere, like anywhere. And I had just passed by um, Lele's room and Bailey, when I tell you Bailey did not look like she was alive, she was laying in in um, in Leia's bed. Just, she, she didn't even look like she was breathing. I swear to God, she was depressed. It was horrible. I forgot to tell y'all that when y'all came back, like, yeah, it was sad. Y'all need to start taking her. Your mom wouldn't let her, wouldn't let y'all take her. I, I didn't tell you she made the uh, her dog cousin. Um, what? She had a seizure. She made a, she had, you know, she, she what? special needs dog. She be having um seizures, and she sent her into a seizure. Lola. Yeah. What happened? 
happened? She started, she had a seizure. But what happened to her? Is she still alive? Yeah, yeah. She had one. Oh. She had one of weasels over there. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, so she can't be around other dogs or something? Nah, she, that was her first time being around the dogs, you know? What? Yeah. Yeah. So Bailey can't go, go over there is what you're saying? I mean, they said that she could come, but I don't want to bring over there and don't make the dog have a seat. Oh, okay. 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 Oh. Well. Um, Kathy also says, you look beautiful as always, Christy. As far as someone's past, um, when someone is doing better, leave the past in the past. That's what I'm saying. Like, don't make people live in their past. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people when you know, if they have a bad past, they, they want to move on. Like, they want to, they want to do better. Especially if you see them doing better. You know, like, I don't like that. Um, that just makes me sick. Um, look in the mirror is is what I, I would say to whomever brings up someone's past. Leave the past alone when someone is doing better. Oh my gosh, I know that's right, girl. It kind of like pisses you off when people do that. Uh, Tawana Jackson says, uh, them concession stand nachos hit different. I know. <laughs> I know. I don't even be... Having chili, just cheese and jalapenos. Yes, I remember that. And when I tell you they so bomb, <laughs> uh, it would be that cheese. I wish I knew the exact brand of cheese because, girl, they fire. I know the exact brand, honey. It was always that same Rico cheese. That Mexican Rico cheese with those Rico uh, uh, tortilla chips, the round ones. That's what it was. That's exactly, they have it at the, um, every daggone store in them big, like, cans. Yep, that's that cheese, girl, because I had to work in the concession stand before, and that was the cheese that they used. Uh, DK7947 says, oh, yummy, your emotional moment was so touching. <laughs> um, we love you and Jaden. I'm happy my comment, um, my comments made you laugh. Though. Oh, that was you, girl. Girl. That was so freaking funny. I was, I was like, yes, she saved me. Yes, girl. Um, Yusa8221. I hope I said that name right, girl. Yusa or Jessa uh, sends three hearts. Thank you, sis. Um, Deborah Cooper says, hey, yummy. Hey, girl. What is upper? Um... Juana, Juana Aguilar, 4961, says, at the CMA Awards in 2023, Luke Combs won Single of the Year and, Ch and Tracy Chapman won Song of the Year in 2023? Oh, girl, because I don't watch the CMA Awards, like, at all. That's, that's the Country Music Award. Yeah, I don't even watch it. Well, that's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Um, Abby Hampton, 3593 says, <laughs> you know what? I'm not even going to read your comment <laughs> because I actually just did, but I looked at, it's not even worth it, girl. Anyway, um, make bam says he cheat. Oh, we already re read that. Um, Michael Stewart, one nine eight sends, um, heart eyes. Thank you. Um, Love Child 6103 says, I lost my readers as well. Them mugs be missing for weeks. <laughs> I know. I lose my all the time. It's just so weird because the ones that I had bought my actual glasses, they were in the case. And I can't find them mugs nowhere. Like, nowhere. And then I had another pair, can't find them. I got one pair and they literally hurt the bridge of my nose, but I have to deal with them because that's all I have. It's like, you know, I'm literally blind without them mugs. Like, you know, when I'm doing work, I have to have them daggone glasses on. I can't see nothing. I literally, why do you think this phone is way back here? Because I can't, I, I can't do this and see. Uh, anyway, girl, I'm gonna find them one day. <laughs> um... And you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna, we're, you can't be here anymore. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
Like, don't come on my stuff with that bull corn. We not doing that. Um, a brilliant blessed mess three six seven seven says I hollered when you read the sassy comment. <laughs> it was so funny. Girl, that was funny. The color contact and long nails took me the fuck out. Girl, like me too. She said long nail. Like, oh my God. And she said shinies and shiny belts. And girl, that was hilarity. Hilarity at its finest. Um, Vibing with Neek1590 said, I didn't know that either. Oh gosh. Well, I don't know what that was. I don't know what I was talking about. Um... Erica Adams, UD2QG says, hey girl, the food looks delicious. Happy Thursday. Enjoy your day. Thank you so much. Happy Thursday to you too. Um, Vibing with Neek also says, I agree with you, Yummy Bites. Yeah, I, I don't even remember what it was. <laughs> Kizzy Cherie 7945 says, I'm going to be eating loaded baked potatoes with chicken sausage and shrimp on game day. Go 49ers! That, who, who's going for the 49ers? I don't, I don't know who to go for. Like, I'm not going for nobody, honestly. But who are y'all going for? Let me know in the comments. <clears throat> don't tell me y'all got money on anybody. Do y'all have money on somebody? And who's going to the Super Bowl? Let me know. Uh, Sweet P X O X O O five eleven says those not these nachos looking a little too good that I am considering making it for the game day. If I'm being completely honest, I'm watching for Usher, okay? <laughs> and just that, I know that's right. And making sure all the true game watchers have some delicious nachos to look forward to. Yummy. You are absolutely too cute with all these outfits. Thank you. I'm telling you, um, give me five minutes in your closet, baby. You'll walk out of there with a whole wardrobe. Because <laughs> I literally, y'all, I have so many clothes. It is ridiculous. Sometimes I have so many clothes. Like, I be forgetting some of the stuff that I have. Like, I, I, for, I forget that I have it. <sighs> That's why you got to go through your closet, y'all. You got to go through it. Um... Etroy2045 says the nachos look delicious. I'm having those for the Super Bowl. I know that's right. Uh, yes, she looked out of place and she seemed as if she didn't want to be there. Yes. And I couldn't believe she had on that big cowgirl hat. What was going on? Like, I don't know. Like, and it's weird how people always connect cowboy stuff with us just because we're from Houston, Texas. Like, we don't wear hats and, and cowgirl boots and stuff. We don't, well, I don't, okay? Never have, never wanted to, ever. Never even owned a hat. I literally got a hat um, from this girl. This was, what, last year? Um... For Beyonce's that that um that concert everybody was getting the silver and stuff for and this lady's hats were going viral. Um and I just thought it was a cute hat. So I got one. Never wore it. It's still upstairs um on my lamp. Like on top of a lamp, y'all. Okay? Like, girl, I don't I don't wear hats. We don't wear freaking cowboy boots. You know, some people do, but it's just not a normal thing for us to be doing. Um Oh, excuse me. Yeah, Beyonce, she just didn't look. She did not look like she wanted to be there at all. At all. She didn't look happy. None of that. None of that. Um, Riri Love 1962 says, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure your notifications are on and set to all. Share if you care. Leave a comment or topic down below. Thanks and have a great day. Thank you, sis. Thank you so much. Faith Squad. What's up, girl? She says, you're a beautiful soul, yummy. Oh, thank you, sis. <laughs> thank you, girl. Your ass. <laughs> always making me cry. I'm sorry. You know, I'm an emotional cancer girl. But yup, when things are relatable, it just makes you not feel so left out 
or alone in this cruel world. I'm such a loner now because I've been so good um, to so many of the wrong people. Girl, I know that's right. Oh, I know that's right. Uh, but that's not going to change who I am. I will always be humble and grateful for all I have been through, um, the good and the bad. Keep being a beautiful soul, yummy. You too, sis. You too. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, Lady Croft says, hey, yummy. Hey, girl. Um, the nachos look so good. I can't wait to make them this way. Uh, is everybody making chili cheese nachos? Oh! I got so excited. Girl, I was like, why was Yummy crying? <laughs> Ever since your vlog, uh, you're amazing, girl. Girl, <laughs> why is Yummy crying? Oh, my goodness. Um, Keisha Taylor 3468 says, Charles, your lunch is ready. <laughs> I love them. I know. I just, I just love that they doing their daggone thing. Um, y'all, they be fixing, um, Miss Netta up, honey. Her skin is looking better. Have y'all seen it? Like, she got, like, this skin treatment done. And watch her really glow up on our behinds. Watch. Watch. I can just, I can feel it. I can literally feel it. It's like things have been going so fast for them. Like, they say, we not letting nothing stop us. Forget all these haters. We not gonna let nothing stop us. And I'm just like, that. that is such like motivation for people you know what i'm saying to just move on through the hate move on through the hate don't dwell in it move on and do what you got to do to be successful you know what i'm saying don't let nobody stop you i just think that's amazing because i think that's what their story is saying to me that's what it's saying to me um and i think it's amazing uh patricia 6041 says nachos look delicious thank you girl tropically mix says i think i have an idea of who your former co-worker is. This person put your daughter's first and last name on blast for no reason. Mm. And that makes sense because um, my kids went to that school that I worked for. They went there. So they would know my if they work there, they would know my kid's first and last name. Mm-hmm. But it don't matter. I don't even care, honestly. Like they're the ones that are bitter for some reason. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Your girl done moved on. I done moved on, honey. Um, Love Child 6103 sends. Are those flowers? Yes! Thank you. Thank you so much. Um Mila Leggett 9890 uh, says, Happy Thursday. Thank you so much. Um, Love Child says, I did so much dirt on God. Forgive me. Uh, who am I to judge? Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody has, girl. But you just ask God to forgive you and you'll be forgiven. Um, Lena Avery 4610 says, I know a lot of women who have done it didn't report their income. Sometimes you just do what you got to do. And that's exactly what I did. I just did what I had to do. But girl, when I tell you I didn't know I was going to get in that much trouble for it, I didn't know. I, like, I had no clue. No clue. Um. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just say that. I, I had no clue I would get in that much trouble. I really didn't know. But... That's what I did. I did what I had to do to feed my daggone kids. Um, certifiably Mahogany says, hey, yummy. Hey, girl. I absolutely love nachos. I've never tried it with chili, but I do eat a uh, uh, chili tamale pie with Fritos. Girl, I used to love Frito pie. I used to love Frito pie. I cannot have Fritos no more, though. Like, uh, that's so unfortunate, but... Y'all, them nachos were so bomb. Like, ooh, so good as well. Um, I have nachos every time I go to my son's college basketball game. Yes, that's the uh, most saddest story. There isn't enough money in this world to fix this situation. But I think they um, untitled, untitled to just 
entitled to justice and full compensation. Yes. Did you see the story on dad that had his son's dreads cut off for making fun of a kid in his class that had cancer? And he recorded it as well. Applause to real dads and moms that teach their kids life lessons. Exactly. Exactly. Girl, did you hear what's going on with Nye and Unk? Yes, girl. And his name is Alonzo, y'all. Attacked a woman in her sleep. I'm not sure uh, that was him in the video. Exactly. Because we didn't see his face. He also stabbed a man. Yes. Both stories happened five years ago. Um, he paid his dues to society. And I feel like he deserves that entire 400 um, k. I feel like that too. Um, because it was donated for him. Um, I also believe this lady was coached by a lawyer to collect some money. And I feel GoFundMe wants a bigger cut of the profits. All my opinion. People were saying that. They were, allegedly. They were saying that. Um, I've been checking Nye's page for any updates, but she hasn't posted yeah, I know. I was checking too. I was che I was checking today. Um, yummy and yummy biters. What's your opinion on this matter? You look beautiful. I think you should wear this wig for Valentine's Day. Thank you, girl. Oh my, which wig did I have on? Oh, that the one with the blonde um, streaks. By the way, ECE funded the NWA first record and studio session. Sorry for the confusion. Um... Oh, you said, e oh, Easy e did. Okay, okay. Happy Thursday, yummy, and true blessings uh, to everyone. Thank you, sis. Thank you. Um, Nevermore316 says, who doesn't love themselves some nachos? I know that's right, girl. Nachos are the freaking bomb. Um, A brilliant blessed uh, mess says, yummy, we don't care if you eat or not. We just need to go live again. We going live, girl. The last time was so much fun. I wish you would go live more often. Okay, let me know, uh, like, what do you mean by more often? Um, like, how many times a week? What, once a week or something like that? What do y'all you, think? Because I know people who go live all the time. Like, all the time. And I, I literally, I got to be honest. I got to get comfortable with it. You know what I'm saying? Um, so maybe I should go live, like, once a week so I can get more comfortable with it. Because going live, like, every blue moon... It's, it's probably not a good idea for me to get comfortable. Like, you got to do something a lot to be able to get comfortable with it. Um, yes, I can't lie because I don't, I don't be comfortable going live a lot of the times. Like, you know, even though we end up having fun, I just, like, initially, I'm just like, oh, my God, I have to go live. And don't tell me, don't, don't tell me. I can't tell y'all, like, what it is about it that just makes me so uncomfortable. I, I don't know what it is. I honestly don't. Um, you know what it is? I know what it is. It's my social anxiety. It's like we're live and it's like I'm talking to y'all in person. It's anxiety. That's what it is, y'all. I got to get over that, though. Like, I'm going to get over it. Um... I definitely will. Uh, Rose Miles, Merch from the start of his live stream, y'all. Uh, Rose Miles 865 says, Hey, Yummy. Girl, you look fabulous. Love you. Keep doing what you do. Thank you so much. Love you too. Thank you so much. Uh, Love Child says, Good night. Greetings from Barbados. Have yourself an amazing evening. Thank you, girl. Oh, you in Barbados? That's what I'm talking about. Dang, girl. Um... Quan three five three Quan uh five three five says never be ashamed of of uh where you come from, yummy. God brought you out of that situation and you've blossomed into a successful black woman. Thank you so much. People are evil. But one thing about it, when you do people evil on purpose and try to destroy someone's character, you will get it back ten times worse by God. I'm forever proud of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that so much. Um, thank you. Yeah, I've, I've come a long way, y'all. Uh, I really have. Um, Willa Boss says, where'd you get the blouse from? Because I like to have one. Girl, <laughs> there's a little story behind that. I got it from a TikTok shop. It's called, it's a website called um, Chic Me. 
I used to shop there a lot, like years ago. I used to shop there, right? And so they popped up on TikTok shop. Um, they sent me, they sent me that for free and I was supposed to, um, do a video on it and, um, do a sponsored video on it. Right. And when I went to go and link the shirt in the video, um, it wasn't there. It wasn't on the, on the, uh, store's shop anymore. Cause they sent me a couple of, a couple of clothing items and none of the stuff they sent was on the shop. So I had to email them. And ask them, you know, why, where, where is the, where are the clothes at that y'all sent me? They're, they're not on there. So I can't link anything. So I couldn't even put that video out, um, you know, about that shirt. So yeah, you can't even get it right now, but I'm going to, I'm going to, um, uh, give an update. Like when they email me and put the shirts up there so I can put the video up, I'll let you know. So you can purchase one if you want it. Girl, that shirt is literally, uh. How much is that shirt? I can literally tell you right now. Where is that mug? Hold up. I think that shirt is like $7, girl, honestly. Um, hold up. Right here. Let me see. To receive your is this it? Yeah, girl. Dang, it don't show it on here. Anyway, girl, the shirt is not expensive at all. It's not expensive at all. Okay, very much inexpensive clothing items from that um from that spot. Uh, but yeah. Okay. Willow Boss also says, um, I deleted that message because I didn't want you to think I was trying to be funny, but I was just letting you know how, how style, uh, repeats themselves. What comment? I didn't even see it. Uh, I didn't see it. Um... D Dika Brass Wait 4250 says hi yummy first <laughs> thank you um girly girl 95 says hey early every no early hey everyone hey girl all right thank you to everybody for commenting um yeah I appreciate you guys. Um, make sure that y'all are following me on Instagram and TikTok. Okay. Um, what else? We just we need to figure out when I'm gonna go live. And I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do it like a week out. I'm gonna schedule it like a week out so everybody can make sure that they're there. Um, we need to figure out what we're gonna do on live. Um do I need to get some vodka? <laughs> Do I need to get some vodka? And make me a vodka tonic girl. Even though it's not good for me. But why not? Okay, while we on live. Um, maybe we could do truth or drink. On live stream. I don't know. That can get a little messy, messy. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to do something fun, though, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I want to do something fun. Um. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all want to do on live. I need y'all to, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to put a community tab up because y'all really be coming through for on the community tab. It just depends on, like, what time I do it because people need time to get on there and comment and stuff so i'm probably gonna do a community tab for that um for that question you know what we should do on live um and yeah it's gonna be fun i can't wait anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video hey make sure y'all follow me on my um family blog channel okay um, but yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do what? Thumbs up this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. 
for everyday videos, everyday videos. Hey, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh. hey, 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 ah, uh, ah. Uh. And I will see you guys on tomorrow. Peace. Y'all come back now. You hear? Bye, y'all.